I'd like to show you how you can use the new user interface in Real Flight Evolution in, to set up your scenario, which is the aircraft, airport, and conditions that you're flying with, using only your controller. So to open the new UI, I press the Cancel button. Brings up the full screen UI. I can choose Free Play, which is where we set up how to fly by ourselves in a flying field with an aircraft with no real limits, just as many times as you want to press the Reset button to get new aircraft. Let's pick out an airport. I would like to fly at, I think I'd like to go to the soccer field. It's a nice 3D airport that will give me the option to uh, use the 3D cameras on the aircraft. So soccer field. Let's choose a different aircraft. I'm going to choose one of our more super scale uh, vehicles that has uh, cameras on board so we can choose one of those to fly from. So let's go to the P-51 Mustang. The good old uh, super scale version, basically a tiny version of the real aircraft. Lots of aircraft to scroll through these days, but I'm going to keep going. I shall persevere. And we're getting close to the P's. There we go, P-51 Mustang. I'd like to change the color scheme to the bald eagle. And I want to be flying from inside the camera, inside the aircraft, so we'll choose the cockpit camera. We're not going to change the pilot position. That would might change where we spawn from, but we could. You could choose different spawn points. <laughs> I will use the, the cancel button to cancel back out of this. I will go back one more using the cancel button. Uh, let's put in some wind. I don't really want to change the direction, uh, but I would like to change the wind speed. So let's give ourselves about 9 miles an hour of wind. And let's make it sunset. So we'll bring the sun inclination down near zero. That's pretty good. And each of these items I'm confirming with the select button, which is just a press of the select wheel on the Interlink DX. So now I'll go back out, and I've got everything I want set up. I'd like to test it out before I save it. I can save it so I can get it later. And so I'll press fly. Everything will load in. And here I am sitting in the cockpit of my P-51 with a warning, no handhold, don't hang on to the front. And I can take off at soccer field if I work hard at it. Watch the smoke roll out. Pull those gear up. And we'll fly a nice slow pass. We can feel the wind bumping us around a little bit. And we'll fly an inverted over the stadium. Watch out for the lights. And I'll reset back to the ground. I'm very happy with that. So I'd like to save it. So now I'll pull up the UI again with the cancel button. Go to free play. And I'll choose save scenario. And let's save this one as Soccer Field. And I did say using only your controller. Unfortunately, you will need to type uh, using the keyboard, but that's the only time we're going to use it. But I will use my mouse to go ahead and click Select just to show you that that works as well. And it gives me a message that that's been saved to Soccer Field Sunset. So now, even if I were to change away to a different airport, I'm using the mouse now just for demonstration. We'll go to shipwreck and a different aircraft. Let's load up the, sure, the old park zone crescendo is a fun little hand launch. Load that up by hitting fly. Okay, fly around here at the, by the shipwreck. And safe mode apparently. There we go. Uh, but I'd like to go back and try my sunset flights at the soccer field again. So I'm going to pull up the user interface, go to free play, and hit load scenario, and we'll go find my file that I saved earlier, soccer field sunset. There it is. Click select, and everything will load in for me just as I put it earlier. You could set all of these things, you could even create scenarios in older real flight, but it wasn't something you could do entirely from the controller. Uh, so that's an exciting new part of this UI. And here we are. I hope that helps you out, and I hope you're enjoying Real Flight Evolution. It's been a lot of fun putting it together. Thanks.